Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how I achieved this lovely foxy glam evening look. I am nearly 40 years old and I still love to wear makeup. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it with older, more mature skin. Also another thing to note about this look is it's really good for someone with like a rounded face that wants to give themselves like a more of a higher cheekbone effect look because not wearing eye makeup under the eye so the lower lash line there's no like mascara no eyeshadow that creates a bigger space from your jaw to your eyes so it makes you makes you look like you've got higher cheekbones than you would naturally have so it's a really really good look for people with rounded faces i obviously already have high cheekbones but this look uh, i just love it i love the fact that i've got high cheekbones and i like how it looks like really nice sort of foxy eye um, it's not like in your face glam, but it is a very heavy makeup look. I will come a bit closer so you can see it's, it's like there's eyeshadow here, there's lashes, there's brows, there's contour, there's bronzer, there's lip liner. Everything is included in this look, but it doesn't look over the top, I don't think. So yeah, if you want to see how I do this look, keep on watching. I'm going to get straight on into it. I've already used moisturizer, moisturizer um, but I'm going to prime my skin first. And... The primer I use, where is it? There it is. <laughs> so I use the Pro Filter by Fenty. And this is really good for oily skin. A bit of mess. So I've got really, really oily skin. I've spoke about this quite a lot already before on my channel. Um, it has its good bits because it does obviously it stops your skin drying out and getting premature wrinkles um, but I do look after my skin now <laughs> I never used to when I was younger I mean I say that I mean I've been using Elemis since I was sort of 25 but I've also been going out in the sun a lot since I was about 25 that's when I started dating my current boyfriend um and my current is I'm gonna get another one we've been together 12 years um but that's when I started dating him and we started going on holidays a lot um, in the sun and I would just sit out in it and be a bit silly and reckless with my skincare or my sun damage that sort of thing so yeah I'm suffering with that now so I'm just going to conceal the areas where I do have sun damage that's like my top lip across my nose like you can see this sort of area here and my forehead and I don't have any real spots at the moment I did break out last week or two weeks ago Just tone that down somewhat and then I use beauty blender it's a bit dirty but it's wet <laughs> and just tone it down where it's patchy just to even out the sun damage So it's melasma that I have. <laughs> looks really pale. <laughs> it won't look so crazy momentarily. That's just to uh, give me a bit more of an even base to start off with. Right, so the foundations that I use are Hourglass Vanishing Stick. And I love these. They're really pigmented. They're really thick. But they are blooming expensive. This is £45 for a stick. They do last a long time though. You know. But um, yeah. I just haven't found one that sort of suits my skin tone as much as these do. See how yellow that is. That's the look that I like on my skin. I don't like to have pinky white tone at all. See my face is like red where I've rubbed it. It comes up red quite quickly but that, that goes away again so that's not my skin that's not my skin colour <laughs> just so you know. I'm totally using camera as my mirror so hopefully I don't miss any weird bits I'm a little bit patchy on my face because some of that always looks terrible on camera it stands up it's like a sore thumb so 
I just blend this out so I like bounce it to get some on the, the sponge and then spread it out further and I do put it on my eyelids I don't know why people say not to I've always put foundation on my eyelids always <laughs> I'll do the other side this always looks crazy to start off with like if it was an alien like your face has no features whatsoever so I'm getting this makeup done today because I've got to do some content for my Instagram um, and some YouTube content as well, of course, obviously. Um, and we are going away soon, so I need to do a few, get a few bits done, ready and uploaded so they can just publish while we're away. And we are going to Butlins. <laughs> I haven't been to Butlins since I was a, um, like, I want to say 11 or 12. I've never been as an adult, um, but my family's going, and then myself and my partner, I said to him, do you want to go to Butlins? And he said yes, and I actually thought he was going to say no. <laughs> he said yes, so I thought, okay, we'll go for a laugh. So we're going to go, and um, I'm probably going to take about £100 worth of 2Ps, because I love 2P machines. I'm really not going to take £100, probably like 20 quid's worth. <laughs> but I love them. I don't know what David's going to think of me being addicted to 2P machines once we get there, but... If he tries to ban me, I'll have a meltdown. <laughs> like, I'm going to Butlins for 2p machines and candy floss. I'm on a diet. Like, I'm on, like, a, a keto-ish diet at the moment where I'm not supposed to be having sugar. And it's really working. I'm losing, like, half a pound a day. I know everyone's going to think, oh, you don't need diet, but I do. I've got, a, like, a little podgy fat belly, and I want to lose that because it's I don't find it attractive on me at all. Everywhere else is skinny, but then I have, like, this little boop belly bit, which is fat, and it's... It hits women as you get older and it's awful. <laughs> Sad times. Right, so next, what do you? Oh, I feel like I've caught it with something sharp. So I use the Warm Almond Hourglass. Oh, the other colour I use is Bisque. Um, and you don't need a lot of this. This is so pigmented. So this is on my cheekbones and my rather large forehead. just dab little dots and then I use my beauty blender for that as well oh and these earrings I'm wearing are from Bloom UK um, these are the other pair that I mentioned in one of my past videos that I was wearing um, the little birthstone ones and then I picked these out as well. I think they're cute. They're like misshapen little pearls with a little stone on them as well. And then this little dangly bit, which is cute. I love pearls. I had like two sets of pearls. I haven't worn them for a while because I haven't gone anywhere that sort of suits wearing pearls. I have a pair of cream ones and champagne ones. My champagne ones were given to me by my grandma in 2005? No, 2010. <laughs> yeah, so I just keep blending this in. And this one's a bit weird because you have to sort of get it into your hairline without missing a bit so it doesn't look crazy. And then I bring it down on the edge. I need a little bit more of this side, to be honest. It will do anyway, because I use powder bronzer as well. <laughs> anyway, I just like to have this like this. Okay, so that's the foundation done. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. Sounds weird, but it's because this foxy look needs like a crisp line here. Now, I used to use a card to do that, not sellotape. I used to use like a piece of card, but as I'm getting older, I've noticed that card is sort of leaving a dent in my skin, which takes a longer time to get rid of. So now I do my eyeshadow on damp um, foundation because it, you get more, more color payoff. And then I make sure that line is nice and crisp with a bit of concealer and a really cool brush for doing that with. So the color I'm going to use 
on the brush first. So I use this little brush, it's um, covered in brown because I use the same color on it all the time. And this is the little Mac fluffy brush. And the color I'm gonna use is from the, I think it's Oh Honey. Oh, it's just Honey, the Naked Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. And it's this color here. And that is called Keeper. So it's a lovely, gorgeous, golden brown tone. I'm going to get my mirror for this because I don't want it to go everywhere. So, I just put it all over the lid, up to about here. Like that. And the same on the other side. I love Urban Decay. Look how much product you get from like one dab. So excellent. I'll pack that in more on the outside. Just try and make them even. And then like blend that up a bit towards the brow. Okay, like that. Um, that's quite neat. It's neat enough anyway. Let you know. Right, and then what I do is I take concealer. This will cover any sort of fallout as well from that eyeshadow. That's the most eyeshadow I'm going to use. I'm going to use a little bit to create the little foxy wing instead of using a liquid eyeliner in a, in a little while. But um, any fallout from that will be covered by concealer. So I just put it in the inner tear duct and then the outer edge. Um, and then I take this brush from MAC and this is a concealer brush. Can I read that number? I think it says 195. And the reason I like this is because it's got this sort of straight edge on it. So that's what you use to carve a, oh, a foxy line. So I place it, I dab that in basically. And then use that to draw, draw the concealer up. And then you create that lovely straight line. Like that, instead of using a credit card or tape. And then I don't really put... Um, for this look, I don't put anything on the lower line of like lower lash lines. I don't put any eyeshadow, mascara, that sort of thing, because it um, it changes the shape of the eye effect. So I'm gonna just blend that in and get rid of any fallout right into the tear duct there. So it's just like a clean sweep across the eye. And then do the same on this side. Get your little straight edge and draw that up like so. Make sure they look relatively even. That could do with being up a little bit further at the front. And then blend that in. <laughs> Tank's here now crying. Because I've shut the door. Because Daddy's gone to the village. And he's going to bring me back across the crossing. Isn't he, Dad? Do you want the door open? 
so it won't. One second, mommy do it. <laughs> so I've just concealed under the eyes and made that a nice straight line on both sides. So I'm just gonna let the dog out. I always get itchy nose when I do my do my makeup. It's like pressing all the little hairs down, they start to move or something. Right, that's that done. Now I take a really lovely flat brush like this for doing a little foxy wing. I'm gonna get clean this up a little bit because I'm not sure what colour I used with this last. It looks quite black. So I'm going to take a cotton pad and just wiggle that back and forth. Yeah, it was like a really dark brown on that last. So I don't want that to be too dark for this look. Because this is more of a softer glam. Because it's like foxy glam. It's not in your face glam. Righto. Right, and now I'm going to use a really lovely ashy brown eyeshadow from the Born to Run Urban Decay palette. I love this palette, it's really good. I've used mostly just like all the gold shades in this though. It's got lots of random colours, but I haven't really used that much. But yeah, so I'm going to take this top corner colour, which is Good As Gone, and I'm going to use the tiniest little tuck colour on the brush. So tiny, that looks huge, but it's not. And then I'm just going to trace that line with this brush. I'll come in close for you. <laughs> like that. Do it again on the other side. So start here because that's where you get most of the colour at the bottom and then like a light touch towards the tip. So you press that and then like a softer press. Like that. And then get rid of this. Don't don't touch this anymore because this is quite heavy. So you don't want to muck with that. But you do want to take a pencil brush like this. And then you can just sweep that in. Don't go over the line and drag it down your cheek because we've just made that really clean with concealer. So now you just want to flick that in just to blend it out a little. Just like softening it up. See that like that, and then we do lashes and mascara or mascara then lashes. So let's do this side. like that that looks really good okay so now i'm going to do mascara and i'm going to use my oldie but a goodie my ride or die <laughs> my ride or die mascara which is the extended play giga black lash giga black yeah i said that right giga black lash by mac it's the one that it, it basically because i have quite sensitive eyes like if I don't wear makeup, I have to clean my face like three times a day because the oil gets in my eyes. Just like the sebum off my skin, off my eyelids, gets in my eyes and makes them sting. Um, so I can't stand flaky mascara, you know, like the bits that get in your eyes or something. And this doesn't do that at all. So I've used this, I would say, I want to say like eight years. This has been the only mascara that I use. a long time anyway maybe even more than eight years 
Maybe something like 10 years. Basically, it was one of the first mascaras I used when I started buying like higher end makeup. Um, and I bought a lot of MAC when I first started wearing like higher end makeup. So that's the eyes done. Now I'm going to do my brows. Don't do any mascara on the bottom lashes because it just doesn't suit me. I feel like the one's catching though. When I blink, I can see it. Oh, it's not eyes done. <laughs> Eyeliner on the lower lash. Where's my brown? There it is. So I take a brown pencil and just line the lower waterline. The mascara just this because it creates enough of an effect, enough definition. Whereas the mascara can go a bit spidery. I've got quite long lower lashes. They're fine, but they're quite long. So if I use mascara, I just they look almost as long as my top lashes. <laughs> just sad. Right. So that's now done with the eyes. Let me check that in the mirror because I did that literally on camera. No, it's fine. Okay, so I use the NYX, what do they call this? Precision Brow Pencil. And it's the one that's like skinny, skinny one side, fat the other. It's brilliant. I've used these for years as well. I want to say like four years. Um, and I'm quite slapdash with my brows. I used to be really like pedantic, but no one ever really gets close enough to me for me to worry how my brows look <laughs> no one that's gonna care <laughs> like, my partner doesn't give a damn what my brows look like like he doesn't know the difference between an hd brow and a regular brow so i just do regular brows so i just color in the tail like that and i like my brows to be darker than my hair I just gently softly colour that in and then I do like the little strokes. Here. And the bowl. And then I brush that out with the spoolie on the other end. Just to soften it up somewhat. Make it look a little bit more fluffy, like that. Okay, puppy. Oh, <laughs> he's standing on the cable to my wing light. You right there? Enjoying the land of the living, have you? He sleeps ever such a lot now. He's 13, so he's getting on a bit. It's sad. You can tell he's getting old. But he's so cute. He still wants to be a puppy, you can tell, because he still wants to like play fight and things, but it makes him choke because he's got heart disease. And it's like, oh, heart wrenching. Not nice. Right. That away. So that's the brows sort of done. Just gotta set them with NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. And I do this because this part of my eyebrow doesn't have any hair, it's tattooed on. And I just totally coat that with brow gel. And then that sets, oops, <laughs> that sets that so it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't smudge for the rest of the day. 
And then I'll do my bronzer in that in a minute because I look like a ghost on camera and it looks really bizarre. Looks okay in real life, doesn't look half as white. <laughs> Right. Okay, that is now my makeup done. Well, my eyes, my eye makeup's done. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face. So I'm going to set my face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and a beauty blender. If you're going for a really flawless look for your skin, what I would suggest you do first, uh, if you like to bake, is set it first with a brush so lightly set everything with the brush and then you can bake afterwards because then you know that bottom layer of your skin isn't going to be overloaded with powder it's going to be more smooth and more flawless and less cakey Forehead. Try not to get the brow gel. <laughs> you didn't spread that all over your face like I just did. Try and miss your brows. <laughs> you don't want to overload that bit with powder either, which would be quite a funny look. Not the look we're going for, essentially. I definitely did do that just now, though. That looks fine. Looks more like hair. <laughs> So I've set it lightly with a little bit of powder and then I'm going to bake under my eyes with a damp beauty blender, press that into the lid and then just press it in. When I say bake, it's not really baking because I don't leave it on there, I actually just press it in. quite nice as well because the um the beauty blender where it's damp it's got cool sensation to it so that's nice pressing that into your lower lids your under eye rather pressing it into your under eye is cooling Yeah, this helps um, press it into any under eye crepiness that you might have, because I certainly do have that. I want to get some filler. Filler or <laughs> hey. filler or um, Botox in my under eye. I did get Botox in my under eye last year. It was great. I loved it. So I need to do that again. It really does help with the crow's feet and the smile lands. Just putting this back. In there, so I put it away. Right. So now I'm going to do my bronzing. And for my bronzer, I use a dark shade. Yep, thirty. Yeah, number thirty, the Chanel Le Beiges. Le Beiges. My, my French is not good. And a angled contour brush. Let me just put that literally back over where the hourglass foundation line was. Just to bring some dimension back to what on camera looks like one single white face. <laughs>
in an individual as well. I promise you, in real life, it's not as wide as this. That's the light. Let me see if I can turn that off and see what happens. It looks a bit better, but you can't see it as well. It's so bright. It doesn't dim anymore. It used to be a dimming light, but I've had it about five years. It doesn't dim anymore. Oh, right, so next, I'm actually bronzing. So that was like contour. So my bronzer is the Ambient Radiant Bronze Light by Hourglass, this one, and it's gorgeous. And I've hit pan, but it's still going strong. So I only do this, see here, this area, like that. And it's got a lovely gold shimmer to it. Because I've got quite high cheekbones, if I go above my cheekbones, it looks like the bronzer is literally on my under eye area. So I have to be quite precise where I bronze, like that. Looks nice. And then if I'm going to highlight, I will use a tiny little highlighter brush. This highlighter brush. It's probably got loads on it already, to be honest with you. Probably got enough to get away with. What do you think? No, it does need a little bit. Oh, I haven't done my nose. It doesn't matter. Right. That's better. This is Champagne Pop by Becca. So I've had this for years. I don't use a lot of highlighter generally because I've got oily skin. So I'm not one of the people like, I want to look shiny. No, I arrive on a matte. But when I'm doing glam, then I'll wear highlighter a little bit on my nose and my cupid's bow. And then under the eyebrow. Just on that part there. Like that. And then for lips, what shall we do with lips? I'm going to go, I always change the colour I have on my lips because I like to. <laughs> no real massive reason. Maybe this colour, which is a Velvet Teddy. Oh wow, I haven't used that for so long. Okay, we're going to do Velvet Teddy. This is like an ode to the 2010s. <laughs> I'm not sure what they call Whoa, that's a close shot on the camera. I'm just grabbing a... There we go. Let's look for saw. Nice and spicy, cultured, maybe cultured MAC lip liner. Is it sharpened? No. Where's my sharpener? Oh, God. Don't know where my pencil sharpener is. Might be in my bedroom. Okay, different pencil because that is so blunt. That needs that needs doing. Nope. I've got loads, so we'll just keep grabbing until we find a decent one. Strip down or subculture? I think subculture's closer. So I'm gonna do yeah, and it's it's got a bit of a bit of length to it as well. So I'm gonna do subculture. Yeah, subculture, all the way around my lips. And then I'm gonna do a bit stripped down just on the outer edge because I had this, you can't really see it very well, but I got the scar at the moment from Tank where he bit me back in February on my lip. You can see it in real life though. So if I do a darker line on the edge, sometimes that hides the scar better. I don't really overline my lips because they're, they're a nice shape and size already. I just sort of go on the line. And I'm honest to God, a lazy makeup person. When I'm going out, that's it. I don't take any extra makeup with me. I don't like 
I hardly ever reapply my lipstick. I, I never reapply lip liner. <laughs> so if I'm overlining my lips and it comes off, what am I gonna have, like wonky lips, so. I never got into the habit of taking my makeup out with me like others do. Like one year, a few years ago, someone got me a Ted Baker makeup bag for Christmas and I was just like, what do I need that for? <laughs> like, I know, I, I get it. Some people take them on holiday and stuff, but it was a small one. It was like one that can fit in your purse, like in your handbag. And I was just like, no. I don't need that. Right. So that's lip liner done. Of that one. Where's the darker one? The darker one is stripped down, which is nice and long. <laughs> so that's good. So I'm just gonna sort of gradient it a little. Like that. See it kind of lifts your lip when you do that as well. Like I haven't overlined it, I've just added a shadow. Like that. like that right so it looks kind of weird now because i haven't applied my lipstick yet but it creates like a pucker like without doing duck lip it makes your lips look like they're puckered it's quite a nice effect i think just sort of on the outer line outer edge outer v of <laughs> the two mouths two mouths of the two lips oh my god i cannot talk today anyway velvet teddy just on the bit that's not lined with the darker colour. Like that, now they look really puckered, it's really nice. Yes, I love this. <laughs> so I rub that in. Okay, so everything done. I feel like I should do my nose because it looks really, really pale on camera for some reason. When I'm saying do my nose, I feel like I should contour it a little. Give it a little something, something. So I'm going to use the colour, this one, which is Hive, yeah, Hive in the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. That's the wrong brush. <laughs> I nearly used the wrong brush, I was going to say. I want to use, oh, I'm going to use my actual brush that I do use for nose contouring. So I used this, I think this is a Morphe brush. Yeah, Morphe E25. So I use this tip for applying, like a little dab. Like dab, 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 like that. And then I draw it sort of from here, the tiniest touch straight down. Can't even contour my nose using my iPhone screen as my mirror, that's insane. Quite close together. Tap it down the nose. I sound Australian today, I don't know why. I think it's because I'm not talking fast today. I sound more Australian, more croaky. And then I use this at this end to blend it. And this is the only thing I've ever used this brush for. I've never used this as like a bronzer. So this brush has only got the smallest amount of product on it from blending. Heavy here, I feel like I need to take a bit off because it's gone a bit dark. So, 
to grab the Laura Mercier brush and just one of these. Just to tone that back down somewhat because that went a little bit too, like too blown out. That's better. Right. Like a hands full of stuff now. <laughs> yielding my tools. Wielding? Yielding? Wielding my tools, not yielding. Yielding is when you give something up. I yield to you, madame. That's right. right. So the last thing that I do is apply lashes. Don't know where my lash glue is. There it is. Found it. So lash glue. Tweezers. So the lashes I'm using are the Ardell Wispies. I think actually no, I think these ones might just be a set of Eyelure fluttery ones. Because the Ardells aren't angled like these ones are. So these I've worn these a few times already. So they're not in their pack. They've just been sitting on my dressing table in my bedroom. Apply the glue. Give it a wave. <laughs> Give it a wave. Wait, wait a couple of minutes for that to go a bit, bit tacky. And then what I tend to do when I wear eyelashes is, because I've got quite small eyes, I don't put them from like here to down here. I put them here and then I go up a little bit with them so that they're not pointing down because of the shape of my eye. So I'll show you what I mean. I have to do this, I have to really line them up so that I know they're not going to be too far over. This? And I always grab this side first because this is always the side that unpings. And then just leave them so they like bond. <laughs> and then this end, I just don't attach right low down. I sort of stick it probably like two mil up from my actual lash line on this side. See what I mean? Look, that's already like pinged up. Stay down when you're. I think it's the eye shape. I've got astigmatism in my eyes, which is why my eyesight's so bad. So it's like my eyes are more pointy, so that curving um, lashes around the shape of my eye makes them ping off yeah like that that's cute i'm getting quite good at this now i've only been wearing lashes you know 10 years 12 years 14 years i don't know who knows when these things were invented <laughs> I didn't stop wearing them straight away because I found them really fiddly. Okay, line that up. Oh, stuck to my tweezers. Attach. Make sure I get any glue off of this before shoving it in here because 
This is going to be a sucker. We're just going to press it in so it stays on. That's good. They should stay on now. They feel pretty good. Okay. So the last thing I like to do is blink on my fingers just to push the lashes upwards and then that is the completed look. Yeah, so hopefully you like this look. If you do, please let me know in the comment section below and like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, bye.